Eating disorders can happen to anyone, and that's why a panel discussion was formed at Bemidji State University to raise awareness about the issue. Sarah Madison talks to a former athlete who shares her testimony during National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. Brittany Baker sits on the panel along with experts on eating disorders. Among the counselor, dietitian, and psychologist, Baker's voice stood out because Baker is a bulimic survivor. More voices need to be out there, and I think a lot of people know someone that's struggling with it and they don't talk about it. Baker shared her struggles during college to a room packed with students, many of them BSU athletes. Definitely the pressure from my senior year, just uh, the amount of time that you need to spend on academics. And um, I had been an NCAA academic All-American, so those pressures were there. College students are adults, but yet they're adolescents. That the brain really is still an adolescent brain, and, and there's a lot of development and questioning happening, so it's, it's a really risky time. College students need to be more disciplined when it comes to eating, because when they leave home, they have more freedom to eat what they want when they want it. For athletes, perfection in body image and performance can lead to issues with control. And that person who's got this control for the first time in their life says, well, you want to see control? I'll show you control. And, and they will go down the slippery slope of that relationship with food changes or the relationship with their body changes. I do know that athletes have that big problem, especially I know volleyball players, or because I have played volleyball, that being in shorts or whatnot. I was on a wrestling team for years and uh, cutting weight was really big for a lot of guys. Uh, we're to the point where they would weigh out certain foods. Um, I mean to a T to really cut the calories to make that weight. I mean there was such the pressure that you had to make it for the team. Experts say eating disorders lead to malnutrition and cardiac issues that can cause death. Men and women who have an eating disorder are also at high risk of suicide. So the effects of starvation takes a, a normal healthy person and changes the brain and makes them do crazy stuff. Eating disorder behavior. Physiologically, um, once you restrict, the body will eventually want to binge. Obsession with food and exercise, sudden change in weight, and mood swings are some of the red flags for eating disorders. And I was so worried about what I was eating and just obsessed with my own reflection and just always body checking. For those who know someone who has these problems, experts say a gentle approach is the best way. Don't, don't play the blame game, don't blame them for their problem. Um, don't kind of tell them that they're making bad choices or point out what they're doing. They're very aware of what they're doing. They made me make a list of what I wanted to live for. And I, I wanted to be a mom and I wanted to graduate college. And um, now my son's in the back and um, it's three years later <laughs> and I'm here talking. So. And some days you're going to have a hard day where the thoughts are back, but you just have to take it moment by moment really. For several years, Baker had to drive two and a half hours to Fargo for treatment. Although there are not very many help centers in the Bemidji area, Baker says use the resources you do have at hand, like confining in a close friend or mentor. Uh, recovery is possible and uh, you just have to want it and you'll have it. Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. And out of all the eating disorders, experts say bulimia is the most common. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.